welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing to help us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Today we're taking a look at jeans that sold on eBay in the month of February. So I haven't pulled out every single pair of jeans that sold last month or we would be here all week. But I did pull out some highlights I want to talk to you about. We sold a lot of our Gap, Old Navy, American Eagle. That's my tried and true trifecta bread and butter brands that I love to sell every month. You guys know that. You guys know they sell. You see them every week in my weekly What Sold videos. So I pulled out some other brands to talk about with you. And we're going to start with these. This is a Walmart brand. I know. I mentioned in my plush that sold video over the weekend that I don't shy away from Target and Walmart brands. This is Time and True. You can see the original price was $18.74, and I sold mine for $18 plus seven shipping. So more than what they were originally once you add the shipping in. These are the high rise fitted, they're size 10. Page jeans uh, aren't what they used to be. You guys know that in every video that I do on jeans, I talk about brands that used to sell for a lot more and they don't anymore. And you guys know why, because people race to the bottom. I won't get on that soapbox today because Paige is still decent bread and butter. It's worth picking up. These um, usually start around 35 and that's however you want to break it down. You can do 25, 10 shipping like I do. You can do 35 free ship. However you want to break it down, that's what they sell for. Adriana Goldschmied is still a good brand to pick up. I like that they always have the name on the band, the waistband, and you can put that right in your title because someone looking for those exact jeans, that's what they're looking for, and it helps you to sell them. And these will typically start around... 35. These sold for 30% off on our weekend sale. We had $7 shipping on these, this pair. Pajama jeans. I love pajama jeans. They're like sweatpants. They're legitimately sweatpants that are just made to look like you're wearing a pair of jeans, but they're super comfortable. I actually had a pair a couple of years ago. I really liked and I wore them all the time until I wore them out. I find any in my own size ever again I'm going to keep them for myself of course I'm not a small I sold several pairs of pajama jeans last month these these ones sold in our 30% off sale but you'll see some later in our clearance that I'm going to talk about in a minute towards the end Levi men's so these are just the Levi Strauss they don't have a number they're nothing special men's jeans will always sell for more than women's this pair started its life at $25 which would have been 15 plus 10 shipping, but sold on our sale over the weekend. We do run 30% off sales from Friday evening through Sunday evening every weekend. If a holiday is on Monday, we will sometimes extend that through Monday evening. We start all of our prices at 25% higher than we actually want. And Monday through Friday, we run a 20% off sale. Running a sale on eBay gives you a, a boost in the searches, and it also plays on the psychological need of a buyer to see a sale. If you have a pair of jeans for $20 and a pair for $25, it's 20% off for $20. More often than not, a buyer is going to go for the other pair that's on sale. It could be the same exact brand, size, style. The buyers could have the same exact pictures, great feedback. But the ones that are on sale will probably sell first because it just triggers something. There's been like research and articles on this since time began. There's something about a sale that buyers like. Plus, it gives you that boost in searches. So the way the math on that works, for instance, these jeans, I wanted 25 for them all in. So I listed them for $18.74 and... $10 shipping. Now our regular 20% off sale through the week would have put these at $14.99 plus the $10 shipping. So that's actually with the price I wanted. But then that weekend sale, 30% off is actually a sale and they go on sale for $13.12. And we do that again every weekend and then into Monday if there's a holiday. Flying monkey jeans. 
This was new to me when they came out of a thread up box. I've had men's before out of the thread up box as well. I find a lot of brands that are new to me in the thread up boxes, which is part of the thrill of ordering those for me. These are really cute. They got like the nice ripping and the tearing and the raw hems. So these sold for 18 plus seven shipping. So this is a decent bread and butter brand. This is a poop brand, but it's an example of I get a poop brand in the thread up box. I'm going to list it anyway because I want to make as much profit as I can out of every thread up box I buy. This is the Lee's. This is actually low boot. They're junior size 11. They're just kind of like a mid grade size as well. And I still got 10 plus 10 shipping. And that's on a poop brand. So if you're buying lots of or bulk buys, don't be afraid to list everything. The good stuff's going to make your money back and everything else is just going to be extra profit. These are the Wax Gene But I Love You, B-U-T-T. -T. So if you ever see these or the Why Am I Want to Better Butts, they are popular. They don't sell for a lot of money, but they sell very quickly. So they're a quick return on your investment. They are slimming and shaping jeans. Um, they always come in small sizes, which is the slimming and shaping do they really need it at a size one? But the But I Love You's and the Wanna Better Butts are always the small sizes. They'll ship first class. They sell pretty quickly. They usually sell for about $25 all in. Another pair of Adriana Goldschmied. These are the Jody Crops. See, I love it when they have the names on there. Cotton On. Never heard of this. Got it in a thread up box. New to me. I'd buy it for 99 cents at the thrift store all day long. They're $20 jeans. Target brand. You can get $20 to $25 for most Target and Walmart used or with tags. Especially plus size. Here's another Walmart brand, new with tags. And we got over $20 for these. So don't be afraid of those, you know, brands that people know and trust especially in a time when people don't have a lot of discretionary money to spend on clothing. Joe's Jeans. Again, this is a brand that used to sell for a lot more. Um, I usually start them around 30 now. Here's the Levi's 512. When it comes to Levi's, there's so many Levi's out there. And there's a learning curve, but you can comp them. If you're interested, I do have a jeans guide that was just updated for 2024. It's available. The link is in the description box and it has a whole section on Levi's in there for you, plus a lot of other information on selling jeans. Um, but there's just so many. It's taken me like seven years to even learn the ones I know and there's some that I still have yet to see in the wild or get in the thread up box. And when I get them, I'll learn them. Um, and here's the thing with Levi's. They range from low end bread and butter, some that will only sell for like 15, all the way up into the hundreds if you can find the vintage ones. There's Levi's that are made for Walmart, Levi's that are made for Target, vintage Levi's. There's a whole slew of 300s, 500s, 700s, different styles. So if you're not into selling bread and butter or you don't have a volume based business, of course, you always want to comp them before you purchase them. I buy Levi's any kind. As long as they're 99 cents, I'll buy any Levi's without even checking in the comps. If they're a little more expensive, I will check. Um, I actually carry a copy of my jeans guide on my phone. Within the guide, there's a stars starting prices list of jeans and the common prices I start them at. And I can always just pull that up on my phone and check. So if I pull up the 520s and I see the 512s, sorry, if I pull up the 512s and I see that they start around 35 then i know they're worth paying two or three bucks for but if this was a pair of levi's that sold for only 20 then i would probably only want to pay 99 cents cost of goods so levi's again it's just a huge learning curve there's so many of them i grab them all there you are a tried and true trusted brand for decades now lots of folks love levi's Okay, now we're going to get into the clearance. We're going to talk about it just a little bit. A couple of weeks ago, I put out a what sold on eBay video, and I went into great detail talking about why 
you should clearance out stale items. The importance of not having stale items as far as the algorithm and you showing up in searches. I will have that video pop up at the end. If you haven't watched it, go ahead. Uh, it's got a lot of great, great information in there on why you should clear out stale items and how you should clearance them and ideas for how to set up sales in your store and, and promote your store and things like that. Today, I just really want to quickly show you how many of our items are selling that I've put on this clearance. So what I've been doing since the beginning of 2024 in January, just a couple of items a day, maybe five to ten a day. I'm taking our older items and putting them on sale for 50% off. The way I do it, I use list perfectly. So I go on my catalog here and I can go to my active listings. And I can go over here to updated, ascending, and I can see that these weren't have not been updated since January 24 and they were created in September 21. So just by going down this column, I can see how old my items are. So what I can do then is determine how old I want an item to be before I put it on clearance. I'm doing anything before 2023. So if it's older than 2023, which is two years old at that point or older, I'm putting them in this 50% off sale. List Perfectly is an amazing tool for things like this. Just an aside real quick. You can sort your items to see when they were created, how old they are, when the last time you updated them is, was if you do the D-list, relist. There's just so much you can do with List Perfectly above and beyond just cross-posting. If you're not trying it, you know you can get 30% off your first month with code Flippin' Hippos. There's no contract. If you don't like it, at the end of the month, you just don't ever use it again. But if you use our code, you can get 30% off just to try it. And I actually have a playlist on this channel that walks you through all of these really cool things that you can do with List Perfectly. A lot of people just think it's a cross-listing tool, and it's so much more. It's an inventory management system. All right, so that's what I do. I um, choose if it's older here, and I go by uh, when it was last updated as well. So I really want to just look at my active items that haven't been updated in a while that are the oldest. So for instance, tomorrow morning when I come in here to work, I'll probably grab this Wrangler men's shirt because it's from 22 originally and it hasn't been updated since August of 23. And I'll just throw it in the 50% off clearance. So I've been doing that just maybe five or 10 a day and the sales are out of this world. A lot of these clearance items are just flying out the door. In fact, I wanted to show you guys, I had this set up to show you. Um, I select sold here. I can see all my sold items and I just want to see the ones that have clearance in the SKU. And so far this year, we've sold 28 of those clearance items. Most of them are jeans, as you can see. Scroll back up real quick. There's a couple of plushies in there. But a lot of these are jeans. And the other thing I want to point out, I'm not putting them on sale on Macari and Poshmark. So I am ending and delisting all of these older items across the board. I choose my five or ten each morning. I end them on all the platforms we sell on. And then I relist them. On eBay, they are going 50% off. On Macari and Poshmark, they're just going back up for the regular price, but they're selling because they've been renewed. They've been delisted and relisted, which is super important on Poshmark and Macari. It does help you make sales. So you can see that here. In this column, you can see what platform they sold on. A lot of them are selling on eBay, obviously, because they're 50% off and who can resist the sale? But you can see that they're selling on the other platforms as well. So that's 20 eight and I can actually show you how many I've moved over to clearance. So we have 305 that I've moved since January and 28 have sold, which is pretty decent. You can see the ones that haven't sold a lot of these in the plush. It's really the jeans that are getting marked down that are moving really good. This 
helps me get rid of my stale inventory. This helps me increase my overall sales. An active store is a happy store. So if you mark a bunch of stuff on clearance and a lot of it starts to sell, those sales are creating activity in your store, which the algorithm sees and boosts all of your listings in the searches. And then you sell more stuff overall, not just the clearance items. The more you list, the more you sell, the more you're tweaking, the more activity your store has in general, the better off you're going to be. So if you can mark a bunch of stuff on clearance and get it moving, you're going to see an overall boost in all of your sales and activity on your store. Also, you're getting rid of those stale items. And again, I'll have that other video pop up for you where I go into more detail about why that's so important. But it just briefly, generally speaking, if these silver jeans have been sitting in my store since 2021 and no one ever bought them for the starting price of $30 plus 10 shipping, but I can get rid of them for $18 plus 10 shipping two years later, I'm going to do it. They've been sitting there. Clearly, there wasn't enough interest, but I'm not participating in that race to the bottom. I'm still listing them at their value. I'm still listing them at the price. I always list them at. I'm just running a sale. So this is just a really good way of doing things, I think. I'm not participating in the race to the bottom. I'm not devaluing items. I'm not helping lower prices. I'm getting rid of stale inventory. My store is more active, making more room in the garage for new things, right? And folks are buying stuff that has otherwise just been sitting around. So that's what I'm doing. If you want to learn more about it, I'll have the other video pop up. And just gonna show you real quick, just all the, not the Levi's, just all these jeans have been selling. Boom, boom, boom. Jeans that have been sitting around for two and three years in some instances are now moving. Most of them are selling on eBay, like I said, because it's 50% off. But a lot of them, once I delist, relist on the other platforms, will sell too. So I will have that video pop up for you. I will see if I can't figure out how to pop up the List Perfectly playlist as well at the end. You can kind of peek through that and see if there's anything you want to learn about and see all the different things you can do with List Perfectly above and beyond cross-posting. And again, the code is Flippin' Hippos. Your first three days to try it are free no obligation. So if you even can tell within three days, you don't like it, they will let you cancel money back guarantee. If you go beyond the three days and use our code, it's 30% off. And then you can cancel if you don't like it, but I guarantee you, you're not going to. Once you go list perfectly, you never go back. And then also, if you were interested in our jeans guide, that's available in the description box. My Facebook group is down there. Join us over there. I guess I'm out of things to say, but if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know and I will be sure to answer you. Go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.